what is the mind body mm -hmm. because that's really what we're experiencing mm -hmm. now why do we call it a mind body instead of just the body and the brain or the mind uh, because re recent research as well as um, let's say the wisdom traditions of yoga uh, the Upanishads the Gita uh, they conceive of the body in a very different way. It's not of this physical machine that somehow produces awareness. Like a robot. Yeah. It, it's... Um, that comes online. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the concept in, in a lot of modern uh, science is that um, our brain is like a computer. Mm -hmm. But it's the other way around. Computers are similar to our brain mm -hmm. or they do similar things as our brains do our brains are the primary ones they, mm -hmm. they're the ones that produce computers not the other way around wouldn't it be that our consciousness is a computer in a way let's say consciousness expresses itself in a computational way okay right that that's a kind in a of, pattern or kind yeah. of structure right not always though mm -hmm. Because in, in the Eastern philosophy, uh, consciousness is a pure state. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any objects, no computations, mm. no thoughts, no emotions. And then it pours into a comp uh, the maya that creates the physical, has these patterns in it, and then it pours into that. The, the biological world arises from consciousness. Mm -hmm. So it's very much uh, as if you are looking at um, a virtual reality. Mm -hmm. The objects in that virtual reality world are made out of pixels and light mm -hmm. and electricity, energy. We can think of uh, the, the manifested universe in similar terms. It is created out of consciousness, out of light, out of awareness itself and it is created from that energy of consciousness mm. it appears to be separate from us and separate from our our own awareness but in reality it's arising in our own awareness very much like the headset that we put on with a virtual reality that shows us that internal world mm. of the virtual reality mm -hmm. And so that's really, and, and now this is based on current uh, understanding of consciousness, not only the ancient wisdom, uh, but it's also being supported by uh, our current understanding of awareness and consciousness. So it's a mind-body, meaning that just like uh, we become aware of our own body, that means this body, the way you can see it, is part of the virtual experience of consciousness. Mm. The awareness is creating it for us. So it's not a separate... So we are consciousness. Yes, exactly. Mm. Our body is made out of consciousness. That's why it's best to call it a mind-body instead of a body. the body and then the mind separately, mm -hmm. which is the... Descartes kind of came up with that division and, and science has used it for a long time that way, mm -hmm. that our bodies are separate from our minds, mm -hmm. that they're made out of two different substances. In reality, no, it's consciousness is both, it's creating both our minds, mm -hmm. like our individual minds and our individual bodies and the experience of the world. Mm -hmm. Everything is arising from that one consciousness. 